So, welcome guys. <laughs> Was that wild? Uh, looking at OBS for a second there. Welcome to this live presentation of how to make a custom skin in War Thunder. At least, this is how I make them. Uh, this is going to be the aircraft version, so it's a lot simpler than the tanks version, but uh, making a tank custom camo is possible. I have quite a few of them on my live.warthunder profile, if you care to look those up. Um, and I learned by looking up how-to videos, so here we go. <laughs> I'll try and make this a more interesting video. But I'm also going to try to explain everything that I'm doing. So apologies if you only wanted to learn one thing. Uh, I'm really trying to make this as accessible as possible. Because again, the only reason I got started doing this, uh, which is one of the things I love most about this game, is because somebody showed me how in their video. So first off, if you want to make a custom camo, I'm sure you already have a vehicle in mind. And I'm amazed that I haven't made a camo for, for my ME262A1U4 Narwhal. Because this thing has been my darling for the longest time. Probably my favorite uh, aircraft in-game. And as a stock, or I should say, as a regular tech tree aircraft, I've spent more time in this thing than anything else. So, we go to Customization. If you own the vehicle, or you can even, if you can see it in your research tree, let's say we want to make one for the Doe 335. You go to Preview. And I'm a liar. <laughs> you, you can't, there is a way. There is a way to make custom camos for aircraft that you don't own, um, but I'll talk about that in the tank video. Uh, so you go to customization for a vehicle that you own and you see here where it says user skin you can select from user skins that you already have and you see that I've downloaded no I've already made one that's right um, this is our custom skin at this time you can make a custom camo template by clicking this wand right here do you see that and then hit refresh and whatever changes you've made to your custom camos will appear in this bar here, this drop-down menu. Select the one you want. For now, it's template ME262A1U4, and you'll notice it's not any different than the standard camouflage. Now let's open up our War Thunder um, user camouflages folder and see what that did when we made that camouflage. So... I have a quick link to screenshots here, so I'm going to jump into my War Thunder screenshots folder, and you can see here's all the all the screenshots I've been working with. Most of these are for my YouTube videos. Um, bathtub is better than Battle Tank. Great title. Okay, uh, let's go to War Thunder. So see how we jump down to a previous folder? If we go to you, user skins right there. Here's all of my user skins. I have a lot. And you'll see that some are in zip files. These are the directories, and then you extract those out to these files here. And all these ones that say template, most of these are skins that I've made. Uh, the Rotten Robbie uh, <laughs> Tiger skin is not one that I've made. I, I didn't uh, perform that mark of genius, but uh, let's look for the one that we just created. It'll be one of these templates, and these are alphabetical in order. So it should be template ME, let's see, H-I-J-K, ME, right there. ME262A1U4, Narwhal, from here. Um, if we have the game closed, we can rename this folder. But if the game's open, then you cannot rename it. So we'll jump right into it, and you see four image files and a text file. Let me open up this text file and show you what it is. So this looks like code because it is, but it's really simple. So what this is doing, what this text file is doing, you see where we got that from right there? It's telling the game what files to replace when it loads up this. 
Okay. So right now, I'm alt tabbing by the way. Uh, again, I, I said I wanted to explain everything. So <clears throat> now you see replace text ME262A1U4 underscore C and then an asterisk to ME262A1U4C dot TGA. These are Targa files. Um, we want to keep these two. And I, for the purposes of my custom camo, I'm going to delete the references to the end files. So these first two files are your C file and your C damage file. This is, for C, it's what you see when you look at the aircraft. <laughs> it's the colors, you could say, the color file. And then the C damage file is what you see when that area is damaged. Make sense? So this text is referencing that picture. This text is referencing that picture. This text, this third bracket of text, is referencing your first end file. Now you can modify end files, but I haven't gotten into doing that. End files are your textures. It's it's sort of like referring to how shiny something is, sort of what it's made out of. In other words, like jello has a different appearance from like sheet metal, and cloth has a different appearance from say skin, right? Even if it's the same color, the texture appears differently and it would be rendered differently in the game of War Thunder. So that's what the texture file is there for. And you can notice that some surfaces are shiny, other surfaces are dull, things like that. Some you can see through, most you cannot, right? So that's what you can change with these end files, and that's all I know about end files is I don't work with them. So you know what? Let's take these two brackets that talk about replacing end files and delete them. And then save this document. Okay, so now that's changed. Uh, and then I'm going to take these two end files and delete them. Now, if you want to get into modifying end files, you can do that. Uh, it's not something I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to open up our first C file. This is your regular color map of the game, and I'm opening it with a, opening it with a program that is called GIMP. Right? Do you see that down there? Um, so when you Google uh, <laughs> GIMP be sure you have Safe Search turned on and look for GIMP download, and you should be able to find this uh, graphic modifying. It's basically like Adobe Photoshop, only free, and you're going to see me using all kinds of tools, and it's just something that I picked up through practice, right? So you're going to open this thing up, and you're going to be like, the first hour you spend in this program, if you're not familiar with like Photoshop and stuff, is going to be nothing but but confusion and usually by this point I'll be launching or I'll be in the web browser looking up things I want to use in my pictures but uh, for now I'm talking to you guys so this is our C file this is our color map of the ME262 narwhal and it looks like like a decal set for a for a model right because that's basically exactly what it is just like stickers these color maps get pasted onto the 3d model of the plane and they produce uh, what you see in game so if you want an idea of what things are like i can already tell that this is an underwing here this is the top side of the wing and so these are going to be flipped uh, vertically and horizontally this you can see uh, landing gear Landing gear, landing gear, so this is the belly of the plane. It's nice that that's all in one piece because we can put a big decal there and it will appear. Uh, that looks like the the side of the tail plane, like where the, the area the rudder would operate in. And there's the other side. You can see the rudder there and uh, the fin for the here, the little um sides of the tail what would you call that where the elevator is let's call that the elevator in the elevator plane uh here's cockpit metal you can see here and then there's probably inside of that cockpit components that looks like landing gear uh wheels to be precise um 
is that yeah probably just a a thing right there and and a more different thing right some of these things we recognize some of these things we don't do you get the basic idea this is our base file so we're going to create another layer let me let me go back so here's our image in in our layers menu here is how you create an extra layer always create extra layers so we're going to copy this and paste it into a new layer and then anchor that right right click a to anchor something you copy paste it in gimp um now we have a copy of our base and we're just going to stop messing with the base just in case we need to go back to the basics we can still have this and in fact i'll show you some tricks with that later on i'm sure we're going to use that base file now we have two extra layers to play in here and I'm going to be adding layers as I go. Some people name their layers so they know what's there. I just go by looks. So I'm, I'm going to view the base layer and I like to use this as a template. And there's some quick ways because I have to do all these fast. I don't have a lot of time to make custom skins. There's people that really do amazing work. Um, and I'm not one of those people. <laughs> so uh, let's use some filters to make this look different and then paste on some some things from from just a Google image search and call it good because that's how I do my art here on the uh, Toshio Thunder channel. <laughs> I don't have time for, for hand-drawn stuff. I used to do that when I was single, but uh, I'm a husband and a dad now, so I have no time. <laughs> All right. Let's get into it. Up here, you see colors and filters and tools. These are your best friend if you don't have time. So uh, let's see. First, let's go to Colorize. So we click the Colors tab. We click on Colorize. And already, you see this thing changing. Now, you can play with the values here, or you can choose a preset. But uh, let's just play with some values. All right, hold on a second. My phone's ringing. I, I Sounds good. I'll see you soon. Let me go. Sorry for the pause there. <laughs> Speaking of which, that was my wife. And <laughs> she's working hard right now. And uh, there's some things I need to get done today. So hurry up and get this done. Okay, okay, I hear you. All right, so you see what we did there? We played with some values until we got a, a sort of a mood that we like here. And, uh, you know, I might just try inverting this to see what... Oh, that's, uh, that's a bit different, isn't it? So you can play with things. Uh, Control-Z to undo. Uh, let's play with that. That has sort of an aquatic theme to it. And you know what I was thinking? Let's go to the old Google. And uh, let's see, let's look at shark skin. Oh, wait, but when we're looking for uh, things that we can use in GIMP, it's good to search for PNG files. So shark skin, PNG, uh, images, and apologies if you see something here that you can't unski or unsee. I, uh, I have no control over what Google brings me back. So we've got a cool image of, of shark skin there. Uh, it's pretty, pretty zoomed in. It'd be nice if we could get like a texture. There's another one. Da da da. And you can sort of. This is what takes most of the time. Is uh, denticles. You know what? Let's let's talk about denticles. There we go. That is neat. I'd like a bigger. 
bigger view though. I want lots and lots of denticles in this uh, image. They're called denticles. See, you learn something every day. So here we're just browsing through Google image search, looking for, <laughs> that's so cute, looking for things we can use. And I'm looking first for a texture. So that's kind of cool, but I would have to like copy that a lot of times to make it work as a texture. That same deal. This one, we have a lot more, um, but I'm looking for more of just like a zoomed out shark skin. I can't type. Dark skin texture PNG. That's not. That's not terrible. Um. That's a little better. That that looks oddly familiar. I guess it's not quite the same. So I'm not going to use any of those. They're too zoomed in. Too micro. We need a little bit more macro. That's a little bit more zoomed out. That's. That doesn't look like shark skin. That looks like elephant skin. Um, but we'll look at that anyway. What's this? It's leather. It's hard to find. Textures are the hardest thing to find. And uh, I've been playing more and more with using them. So that is a thing. Of course... If you are artistically talented and you really want to invest some time into this, then the best way is to make your own. Just draw it. Um, but I am not. Ooh, that's what we wanted. Look at that. That's perfect. You can see the denticles, the little skin scales, and you've got lots and lots of coverage here. So let's see if we can save image as, there we go, PNG. Saving that to our downloads folder. And then we open up downloads. There's our image. Um, that's an April Fool's video, so don't get excited about that. <laughs> now that April 1st is over, I don't have to pretend it's legit. Um, where was I? All right, GIMP. Okay, then we alt tab to bring downloads. I'm sure there's a better way, but this is how I do it. Drag and drop. So now you see it created its own layer and that yellow boundary is the boundaries of the layer and you see that it's not bound to this bigger layer. So we're going to copy it. Control C. I'm going to hide that and I'm going to go to one of my new layers. You see what I did? And then paste. Okay, what have we accomplished? Let's zoom in so we can see what it looks like. And this is what it's going to be. You see the opacity here? I can change the opacity on the selection thusly. So you see that how that modifies what we're already looking at? This is our template. This is our, our um, texture. And I like it. Uh, that is a good looking shark skin. So, if we're going to put shark skin on the wings, we'll have to flip this with our flip tool. You see there? Horizontal, that's uh, left and right. We don't care about that. Let's flip it vertically. So click. Now we've flipped the shark's skin image vertically. And when we are resizing a... a Let's see, what did we call this again? <laughs> Sorry, my brain doesn't work very well. I've had a baby yelling at me this morning. When you're resizing your texture, you have to be consistent or it's going to look weird. So this is our one chance to decide what scale we want our texture to be. Uh, let's try playing with resize tool, clicking on it, and then bind. So now it'll resize the vertical and horizontal uh, evenly as it were. It's at 750 pixels wide right now. Let's change it to 1200. There's what it looks like at 1200. Not bad. Uh, perhaps a little bit large though when you get into zooming in. Let's move that over to the wing. Wing, wing, wing. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. That actually looks pretty cool. Uh, see how it looks on the underside of the wing there and how it looks on the top side of the wing there. 
not bad at all. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to set up where I want this to actually go. So we want it to paste it onto the wing. Let's go to our delete tool and there's different ways to do this. All right, so let's change that to that and change the size of our delete tool to 200. Now we're going to delete everything we don't want to paste down right now. Okay. So that was set to 1200. See what we're doing? Everything we want to paste onto we leave alone and everything we don't want looking like shark skin at the moment we delete there we go now to anchor that right click on our object and hit a for anchor there you go see how this now has a shark skin texture that looks pretty cool right okay now take this and we're going to select what we just did right there copy with control c paste with control v and then go to our flip tool flip horizontal and then hit m to change to our move tool and hold shift and move it into position on the other wing uh, for a finer adjustments just let go of the shift button and move a la vie all right let's zoom in with plus get a good look at where we're putting our texture there we go perfect overlap and does that not look pretty neat i think it does look pretty neat okay now we have the upper wing with a shark skin texture let's paste again and give our lower wing a shark skin texture and it's a slightly different shape but you will need to flip this one again vertical back to our move tool yeah let's delete that okay delete that let's try from our base texture control c we're doing 50% opacity and 1200 size. So, you know what? Let's create a new layer real quick. This is just a working layer, right? So there's our new layer, layer number three. Pasting that in there. Changing the size to 1200 width. And changing the opacity to... 50 percent there we go that looks good paste and now we can copy this layer hide it and go back into layer one where we're doing our texture and paste so moving here Okay, which way are our denticles going? Uh, looks like that's good. See, we're zooming in to check the details just to make sure everything is lined up just right. Uh, you won't care about small details until the skin is totally done and you hate everything about it. <laughs> you, you'll just notice those little details and you'd be like, why? Why? Uh, so save yourself the trouble. Uh, be picky when you're making the custom camo. And... Uh, and you'll thank yourself later. And we'll paste that again. Move it over here. And here we're dragging with the mouse to move. As you can see, let's zoom on in and line up those. Okay, that's a pretty good lineup on the tentacles. It looks like there's a teeny little uh, gap that we can either have an overlap 
or a little light line. You know what? I like the little overlap line, that little dark line. That's okay. That's looking pretty good. And uh, zooming out, uh, it looks even better. So it looks like we got our tail plane and our upper wing plane and the rest of the stuff we can just delete. We can just, uh, okay, anchored that layer and now we're deleting what we don't want to be that texture right now. Now why are we deleting all this? It's not lined up properly. So we'll change our orientation for our for our texture on that layer. Now obviously this texture is not going to be mapped in a 3D sense. It's just sort of a flavor for our uh, 2D custom camouflage, our color map. So we can, we can do those details later. Let's do more applying shark skin texture. So let's put some shark skin texture on that, some on that, and that, that, whatever those are. I think that's the nose cone. And, uh, and this, this, uh, yeah, this is the side around, this would be your cockpit area. And then these would be the sides of the plane. And then this was probably the underside of the engine cowlings. Looks like, yeah, those two circles, I recognize those from the game. See there? Circles. That's how you can check things. If you don't know what something is, go into the game, take a look. Uh, those two cones, they might actually be the engine sort of intake area, the front end. Uh, not sure. Not sure. And I don't really care. As long as we make them look good, then then I'm happy with that. And we could we could really do... They're going to look weird because this is a conical texture. It is the engine intakes. It's a cone texture and we're, we're going to be mapping a flat 2D uh, mat onto it. So it's going to look weird and I'm just going to have to live with that. Maybe I'll not put shark texture on the engines. I think that's a good idea. So shark skin texture for control c control v and move now where are we put in texture we're going to put it on the sides of the cockpit so because this is going sideways we're going to flip it no we're going to rotate it let's go to our rotate tool and hold control and that allows us to rotate 90 degrees, or you can just put in minus 90, rotate. There we have it. You see how the denticles are lined up? I'm using this new word as much as I can. <laughs> are lined up like that. Let's zoom out of our picture just to make sure we got everything in looking good. So, I like that like that and we will copy that orientation and anchor it and then paste again and yes that looks good let's move it into position and here's where we need to get picky it's the fine adjustments that you will notice when you're looking at this in the years to come. So we can zoom way in and see that that corner is not quite lined up perfectly and that looks pretty good. So just a little bit of a line, I can live with that. I'll hate it, but I will learn to live with it. <laughs> Here's our engine cowlings. We don't want shark skin texture on them because it's going to look weird. Uh, so I would love to be able to map a good 3D cone or wrap a texture uh, as though it was around a cone, but I don't know how to do that. I don't have the time to learn right now. So let's delete everything we don't want. That was a bit aggressive. Everything we don't want on the engine cowlings.
And of course, whenever I'm undoing an action, I'm pressing, pressing, I'm pressing Control G, laddies, you see. Okay. Hmm. Just like that. So now we have around the cockpit, on the wings, lower and upper, on the tail. Uh, let's finish off the underbody and the tail with a shark skin texture. So here's our shark skin texture. Control C, Control V. Where did it paste? I don't know what it did. I think I have to be looking at it. So turn on visibility, copy, make it invisible again. Go back to this layer, paste. There it is. Moving tool. Uh, we're going to have to rotate this one 90 degrees again. So back to our rotate tool. Let's just type in minus 90. Rotate. Yeah, that worked. Moving tool. Come on. Come on. Now moving things gets a bit laggy between input and resolution. So it's good to be patient. That's a good placement. Um, we will anchor that. Wait, we don't want to anchor that yet. Sorry. Undo. Delete off of the overlap here because I can't change that easily because it's in the same layer. So I'll be sure to delete the overlap now instead of having a headache. <laughs> this is this is why we're doing it live, right? Uh, let's take it off of the cockpit. It'll look cool if it doesn't have a snake skin or a, a, a denticles <laughs> on the cockpit. Looking good. Uh, let's get it off of the engine here. Very careful to go all the way to the edge. It looks really weird if you have little artifacts hanging out. That that's not good. There we go. Uh, we could zoom in just to be extra sure. We could do a good job or we could get it done. I feel like getting it done. Okay. All right, I think that's pretty good. I will live with the consequences. So, um, if you want to preview what this looks like now, just go File, Overwrite ME262A1U4C.TGA. Bam. Now we go back into the game, refresh our user skin, and look at what we've done so far. That looks kind of neat, right? All right? So we got to be sure to get this nose section, and that's going to be a pain in the booty to make it look good. Uh, I might have to, oh, I might have to cheese that somehow, but we'll we'll burn that bridge after we cross it. <laughs> And uh, the tail looks a bit strange, uh, but overall, kind of neat, kind of neat. Uh, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with not having a shark camo on the engine cowlings. That's looking pretty good. And then I'm not seeing that underside of things. So that's where we stand right now that's what our camouflage looks like right now all we're trying to do here is put down a shark skin texture and then we'll put some things on top of it so looking good is what i'm saying we'll anchor that we'll put down some more shark skin rotate it 90 degrees minus 90 Date, move it into position. And let's see. Yeah, that'll work for our tail plane as well. We'll have to do a different one for this tail plane. But let's now delete the things we don't want. So get rid of the overlap. Don't need it on those cockpit components either. That's looking interesting. This is a this is not the easiest texture to work with, or not the easiest uh, 
custom camouflage to work with. Can you still hear me? Hopefully. And... Do do. Ah, that was a bit much. Being careful. Single clicking with the delete tool. That's looking pretty good. Carefuling. We are carefuling right now. Okay. Carefuling done. <laughs> Let's, uh, we. We want it on that tail plane. We don't want it on this tail plane. We don't want it on these things yet. Yeah, this looks like the uh, nose cowling. So we'll have to line that up a little bit better manually. Okay, all of that we'll do another sticker for. So, are you seeing how this could take some time? <laughs> this could be a longer stream. I might not be able to finish this in one go because we're just doing this during Guppy's nap time. So, we'll see what we can accomplish. And we'll go ahead and save that and take a look. Let's refresh and see what we did. So, where did we put things? We put them on the back tail plane. And on the side, on one side of the tail plane. That looks pretty darn sharp. Look at the transition between this one and that one. I can definitely live with that. That is looking pretty slick. So again, this is all just like a base. This is just what we're starting with. We haven't even really put any of the flashy stuff on here. And it's already looking pretty darn sharp. I mean, I could fly this thing once I get these things with this filled in. And then maybe put some, some color on there. That is looking pretty neat. And we might decide just to paste a, a texture down on there and deal with the artifacting that we'll get. Uh, we will, again, cross that bridge when we get to it. Or, uh, or launch a gnome across. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Hope you guys can still hear me. I'm moving all over the place here. I'm getting excited. So... Back to our tail plane. Uh, let's paste that texture down, anchor it, uh, and let's just paste again. And you see it's set up vertically. We want it 90 degrees rotated. So, angle 90. Bam. Rotate. So where are we putting it now? We're putting it on this. And that's it. So, move. And delete it from everywhere we do not want, which is pretty much everywhere. Carefully, that was bad. Cross the line, mark it zero. We're entering a world of pain. Okay. This is art, ladies and gentlemen. This is true modern art. Making your Nazi jet fighter look like a shark. Okay, they did not see that coming. <laughs> no, I'll never get tired of making bad jokes. Because they're dad jokes, and I am a dad. Okay. Hopefully this has been entertaining for you, or at the least, illuminating. Illuminati confirmed. Okay. That's looking good. Sticker done. Now we've got these, whatever they are. Are they part of the engine cowling? Maybe. Uh, and we've got this. There's our nose cowling for sure. See how it tapers? See that little point there? Let's go back to our... Uh-huh. See the point? That's uh, that's this right here. There's your little nubbin. That's a technical term for it. Uh, I think they called it the Sturmnuggen in, in German. But uh, then you, <laughs> you've got your nose cowling here and your cockpit details there. Uh, what have we not done? Engine cowling, engine cowling, whatever these are. I think that's the underside of the tailplane. Um... We've got belly, we've done that, engine, 
engine, engine, engine, cockpit. So let's do the nose. So control V, uh, rotation, we need it rotated to the right, 90 degrees. Rotate, move, and delete everything we don't want, which is almost everything. Probably a faster way to do this, but it ain't my way. I haven't learned it yet. Could probably select something and then do things and then have it look great, but we'll save that for another tutorial. <laughs> All right, and anchor. That looks nice. All right. We could keep saving this and seeing how it looks. Let's just do that one more time. I am okay with that. If you look closely, you can see the boundary layer between these two, but it really is a good texture, uh, and it's not too bad. You can see there's some, there's some ugly right there where it, yeah, yeah, there's some ugly there. But I am willing to live with that. How did that end up? I don't know. Where would that be? Maybe this little thing here. It is. It's right there. So let's... That lined up properly. Maybe. And delete what we don't want, which is almost everything. Let's check on that. Yep, we fixed it. See what we did there? We just pasted a little bit of shark skin on it. So that is looking pretty nice. Got our top side looking all sharky. And you know what? Let's take the shark skin texture off of the bottom side. It looks better being clean. And yeah, that's that's all I have to say about that. Let's change this to not have shark skin texture. Yeah. Give it the clean look. So you know what I could do is select by color. Um and have all of say this kind of color have a shark skin overlay, but it wouldn't map the texture it wouldn't line up the texture uh properly so this this cut and paste style is the is the better way but let's say you have a texture that you don't worry uh what your orientation is you know like a sandy texture or a cloth texture where it's it's sort of harder to tell if it's not lined up right uh then a, a more subtle thing because this shark skin is pretty 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 bam in your face you know then you could just uh, select a color like this. You'd go down to your base layer and just start selecting colors. You see, and all of that, and you can make that a new layer, and you could paste your your uh, shark skin texture over that layer, your cloth texture, whatever texture you want to put over that layer specifically, and uh, not do any of this lining up that we've been doing, and uh, life will be good. But <laughs> I've I've decided to go with the difficult route. Uh, now let's think about pasting over these engines. And what else? Maybe around there? That could be pretty cool. So let's view that. Copy it again. I, mean, th I think we already have it selected. Going back into our texture layer and pasting and moving here and deleting almost everything. So, delete that. We're coming up now with a theme. 
So it's not a bad idea to start with nothing and then pick a texture, a background, pick a decal, pick something to start with, slap it down, and just keep on refining your idea. It's okay to not know what you want to do. Uh, I just looked at the narwhal and I was like, shark, right? Like so many other people. And uh, now we've given it a shark skin and we'll go from there about what we want to do. Let's take this and clean it up. All the light places we've decided are going to have a nice clean texture. And then all of the dark places are going to have a shark skin texture. So we're starting to have a theme. That theme is shark skin on the dark skin. <laughs> it's soft little tummy on the light stuff. Okay, uh, so we'll... Uh, we've already anchored our layer. Have we? Have we? I feel like I... Did I... Whatever. Okay. <laughs> um, more pasting. Okay, so now where are we pasting our pasties? Over these engine cowlings. Uh, let's flip it. You know what? Let's not flip it. Let's just have it. Let's get this done. <laughs> this is the part that might look bad and I don't even care anymore. In fact, can I do that thing that I talked about? Let's do that thing I talked about. Let's delete that. Let's go back to our base layer. Let's select this color. And what else? That's pretty much done it. And this color. And, wait. And that color. Okay. That looks good. Let's copy that. And then where shall we paste you, child? Let's see. Exactly what we've selected. Okay, yeah, our darks. We've got our darks. So, we've copied that. And now, we're going to make another new layer. You see why I don't bother naming my layers? Because I make a million of them and paste. And that has done absolutely nothing at all until we put something over it. Um, how are we going to do this? So we have that layer. Um, we'll make another layer on top of it. There it is. We will view this and copy it and put it in this layer all over the place. This is going to be a bit less organized, but should work out for us. Man, I can hardly tell what I'm doing. Okay, we really zoom in, we can see that little gap between our textures. All right, there we go. And then zooming out, looks like that's lined up on the outside. Anchor that, control V, move. It's a bit to the right. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now, if we... I may have made a mistake. I think I messed up. But let's just pretend that I didn't. Uh, <laughs> So, oh, I know what to do. Okay, so we'll select the outside color. 
And why are we selecting the outside color? Because now we're going to go select invert. So we went down to our special layer that we made there of our dark colors. We selected the dark colors by selecting outside of them, basically everything that's not them, and then inverting the selection. You see how that works? Now we're going to go up to this layer with our selection still in place. Copy. And paste. Et voila. <laughs> so now we have a dark skin, shark skin for everything that's dark, that's not really lined up properly, but we don't really care because <laughs> I'm tired of adjusting things. And you see, it's also puked all over our other darks. So now we need to delete it from everything we don't want it to be on. Which, again, there's probably a better way to do this, and I'd very much appreciate you showing it to me. <laughs> so, let's see, we can delete that layer. This is, there's a difference. between. There's what we had before, here's what we have now. Which actually looks kind of good, but it also is not what we need. So, we'll take it off of the surfaces that already had a shark skin. Et voila, and we can even undo. Let's change back to the fuzzy delete tool and leave some of that because it looks pretty cool, right? To have just a little bit of extra darkness to the sharkness. This is how you get ideas as an artist you make mistakes. And then you sort of halfway fix them and call it inspiration when you leave some mess ups in. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Da, 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 Okay, that is looking pretty a nifty. So then we'll. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's looking like a texture now. You got layers on layers. If you don't know how to art, just uh, make lots of layers and, and call it good. <laughs> call, call it inspiration or whatever, but uh, she'll be Jake. All right, that's looking pretty good. This one, yeah, this one. All right, I like it, I can dig it. Okay. That looks pretty neat. We'll give this the old overwrite test. Go back into the game, refresh our image, and there you have it. I mean, that, that looks pretty nifty, right? Does that not look pretty nifty? And just as itself, this is looking pretty cool. We've changed the color of the plane. We've added some shark skin texture. Uh, you're still looking at my Fiery Queen de decal there, so let's let's take that off just because you won't necessarily have the best decal in the game on your plane. Uh, another thing I like about this is it doesn't look so beat up anymore. Uh, you can see the skid marks here. Uh, <laughs> easy now. Clorox will take those out. Uh, just put it in the pre-wash, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> um, dad jokes aside, that's looking pretty pretty attractive if I don't... Oh man! Okay, another accidental cool effect. Look how cool it looks on those wheels. Doesn't that look cool? Okay, and I haven't really been explaining everything. Sorry about that, but uh, this is how we got to that. And I must say, that looks pretty neat. So let's check the uh, YouTube and see if we have any questions or comments. Com Anonymous! Uh, hi! Let's see, do I have F86, F25? Uh, I have a couple of sabers. I don't remember which ones they are. I don't like playing top tier jets. It's, it's, it's toxic. <laughs> uh, uh, get go, no, keep up, good work. Thanks, man. Uh, Anonymous, good to hear from you. Derp Tank, hi. Uh, sorry I haven't been checking the comments. Uh, I've been just, just in artistic mode. And when I go full 
artism, then I just can't focus on the world around me. <laughs> I'll lose hours. In fact, oh my gosh, it's been an hour. Uh, I might not be able to finish this stream. So this is how I make custom camos. Uh, the other thing you want to do with your custom camo is go File, Export As, and then you see your damage file. Uh, there's a way to make a damage file that looks good like this one, um, but the quick and dirty way is just to overwrite it with the regular C file. Uh, and then basically holes don't really appear in your plane anymore when you get hit. It's just like little scuff marks instead, and I'm totally fine with that. Uh, there is a way to make a better damage file, and it's actually pretty easy. And why don't I try that? So let's go back into our template, open up the damage file. So here's a new window. Here's our damage file. So we'll select by color again. What color? This time, the damage color. See all the holes? We're copying the holes. New layer, um, and wait, control C. Okay, we've just put holes in a layer that is nothing but holes. Hopefully that works. Uh, if not, we've still got options. Uh, now we need another layer. This is me trying something completely new, by the way. So. Let's copy. Oh, we have to grind this down. So I'm happy with this, right? So let's delete our shark skin. Let's uh, delete that. Delete that extra layer. Uh, merge this one down. Right click W. Right click W. Merges it down. Copy this. This is what you actually see. This is our template. We're not even touching that. That's just in case we need to go back to step one. Uh, and now, pasting that down. Uh, we're going back to this one. Let's select by color. Select the holes in. That looks like it was more than I wanted. Ah, that's why. Okay. Select the holes. Control C. Go to this one. Control V. Uh, nope. <laughs> Let's just go with delete. There we go. We just deleted a bunch of holes in our plane. You see that? Uh, and now everything is good. Select none. Zoom out. There's our damage file. So easy. File. Export as. ME262C damage. Export. Replace export bam so now if i go into custom battle and let myself get shot a little bit you'll see holes in the wings uh ladies and gentlemen we've just made a breakthrough on the channel this is the first time i've made an actual damage file for one of my skins <laughs> so hooray now let's look at decals um i will check your comments or ideas on what decals i should put on there i don't know if anybody's watching right now what we got here okay yeah um i don't know why it said that i've already checked that one okay let us go back to that's kind of cute what should our shark Ooh, you know what it could use is a shark mouth right everybody loves a shark mouth so shark mouth png why not and we can close all these other tabs um there's a shark mouth there's something uh one with an eye let's go back to our plane and just kind of visualize what a shark mouth we want sort of a long mouth on this one i think and it'll be tough to get it over that nose cone but i think if we put something here maybe just eyes you know what let's just put a couple of eyes here on the cone um <laughs> Oh man, you see the funniest stuff when you when you Google search 
Uh, let's look at let's look at maybe gills would be cool, right? Gills PNG. So just something like that. That kind of idea. Uh We wanted sort of like a cartoony thing like that. That's actually kind of cool hat with the gills on it. You see some neat stuff. You see some weird stuff when he when he start Google image searching, and I I I take no responsibility for what you happen to see. Uh, let's see, shark gills PNG. That I can maybe work with. There's a more different shark that uh, that could be useful. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. Oh, that's a grainy image. Please tell me that it looks better. Yeah, it looks a lot better there. Okay. Dark PNG. And of course, I'm giving all the credit to the original authors of these images because I totally have the time to do that. Except that I don't. Uh, <laughs> now, lining things up is going to be tricky. So I want to put gills on the sides here. I see a nubby. I see a nubby. Maybe that's something I can work with. I want to put them, I'd like to put them just, just behind that nubby here. This is going to be a different uh, part of the image. So there's where I want my gills. And then we'll imagine that the shark's eyes are sort of the cockpit. You get some gills in there, that'll look pretty cool. That'll be a good start to, to this. This is starting to look like like one of my better custom camos. Okay, where can we put these gills? So, sides here. Here's where the sides of the cockpit are. Okay, that's the back side. So we want the front side. Back side, front side. Gills, we want them right about there. See where that arrow is? Let's find that arrow. There's that arrow. We want them in front of that arrow. Okay. So there's our arrow. We want it in front of the arrow. Got it. Okay, so pretty much on the front of that. Uh, now, uh, downloads, shark. Put the zoom on in where we can see it. And those gills aren't perfect, but you know what? Work with what you got. Why do I see holes? Oh, I'm still looking at the... Actually, let's do it this way. So we'll select... There's a smart select tool. Select that. And then within that, we'll, uh, let's go subtract. And then, no. There, intersect. This is the first time I've used intersect selection. There we have it. Control C. Hide that. Going to the right image, <laughs> this one that doesn't have the holes in it, and new layer and paste. Uh, where did that paste? Uh, I don't, I don't know where that pasted. Um, okay, let's try that again. So we copied that. We copied that. Maybe that's the problem. And into the slayer, paste. I don't, I don't. I don't get it. Where did it go? Uh, let's try that again. Downloads. Drag the shark in there. There's our shark. Get your gills, bud. Let's get your gills. Boom.
Control C. Stop looking at that. Paste. There she be. Okay. Live, ladies and gentlemen, we are live. <laughs> All right. So let's see if these gills, they're about half as big as I want them to be, if that. So let's zoom on in a bit and resize. Make it 214, double the size. That's looking pretty good. We'll move them over here. We'll put them near the front. And copy. Paste. Oh, wait. Let's flip it vertical. Lamo. Move. That looks pretty close. Pretty close to symmetrical. There's probably a better way to do that, but that's just what I did. <laughs> There's what we have. Um, let's try playing with the opacity on this one a bit. Ooh. I kind of like that. Uh, so let's select this. Copy. And then we will delete paste, change opacity on our selection, let's make it 50, and that good. Now, how can we do this? You guys know what I'm going for here? You'll find out. Here's the way I'm going to do it. Paste. Move it on top. Move it a bit to the side. And then delete all of that. And scale this one down. Make it. Uh, no, no. That's not exactly what I wanted. That's why. New plan. Moving it here. Delete tool. Let's change that to 20. And we'll do the back side. Oh, yeah. Except I'm doing it backwards. We want the front sides gone. I wasn't born dumb. I've worked at it, and I've really accomplished a lot. Proud to say I'm much dumber than I used to be. Really making progress. It's all about putting in the time to, to make your dream of being a complete moron come true. And uh, here we have more proof. That is pretty neat. Control C and paste. And flip vertical. Wow, that that worked for me perfectly. Uh, and anchor. Very nice. Very nice. You see how it's a little bit darker there, where the gills are deeper. You can almost see where the the water flows in. That, when we look at our shark drawing, that looks pretty neat. Okay. 
So you can just... You just, the entirety of you can just go away. Because you're irrelevant now. Now, let's overwrite. Take a look. I want it forward more. But otherwise, it's also a bit too dark. And it's on top of the, that's it. It needs to be below the skin layer. It looks like gashes the way it is. And we weren't going for that. So this layer goes below that layer, except that that ruins everything. Oh, we've made an error. We have erred. Oh, well, it is what it is. It won't be perfect. So at least that's out of the way. Um, but copy. Delete, paste, move it forward. Let's move it as far forward as we can. And a bit lower as well. So, anchor. Whoops. Whoops, moved the world by accident. Uh, you can go away. Control C. Delete. Control V. Move down and angle you a bit as well. Really? That's that's all that that accomplished? That's better. Do 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 do. Last. Flip vertical, move down. Let's try that. And let's make this whole thing a bit less visible. That'll do. That will do. Nicely. Okay. That looks good. What did I just do? I don't know. Let's find out. So there's where our gills were. A bit high, a bit far back, and a bit angled oddly. Let's check the adjustment. Much better. Much better. <clears throat> now it looks like we have a long snout, which is just fine. Uh, there's our gills. Our eyes would be up here in the cockpit. And you're imagining yourself as the little shark brain <laughs> investigating the world by biting. Now, question. Do we dare put a shark mouth on here? Let's, uh, let's give her a shot. So as you can see in our reference file... <laughs> The shark's mouth is a subtle thing, and you don't actually see any teeth as it's cruising through the ocean. So maybe we can pull off that effect. Also, the eye is actually way in front of the gills, so we might need an eye there as well. Can we get an eye here and a mouth there? It's a bit awkward. Maybe an eye as far back as there. And a mouth in that sort of area. Again, that can be a bit of a challenge. Let's see what we can accomplish here. 
So, shark mouth. Shark mouth, one word. Let's see what we got. Pretty typical there. That uh, that could work, especially with some modification. Uh, maybe our best bet. That's actually pretty cool. It's not the right angle for us. And what are we working with when we put it on the nose cone of our actual image here? This. So probably off to the sides here. That looks like the top. Check it out. What do we notice on the top of this cone? Nothing really. Nothing to go by, except these little panels. If we could zoom in and see those under our texture. Oh, there, here we go. There's a little circle on the right side. Wherever this circle is, that's about where, uh, just above the corner of our mouth would be fine. We'd be fine with that. So let's give that a shot. So remember how we kept our original. Now we can find that circle, and I think I see it already. Yep. There's that circle. So we want our mouth to be here. Sorry, I don't need to select that. We want our mouth to be here and here. And then an eye somewhere in that area. So let's make that happen. Shark mouth. Let's use this. Why not? Actually, I don't like that. It's too wide. We want a narrow shark mouth. Um, I would like this, actually. I think we can make this work. Huh, interesting. Interesting. We'll see if that uh, works out for us. So, downloads. Blam. Uh, select this mess plus and invert control C. And I'm all confuzzled because let's say hide that. Back to this layer. We're going to paste it. Where did it? Why does it do stuff like that? Why do you do this? Okay, so. We want our eye to sort of be lined up there. It's going to be really narrow. So let's, let's scale this a bit. So I want less height and about the same width. <sighs> that... You know what, let's just work with the mouth for now. We'll forget about the eye. So 80 pixels high, that looks good. Uh, that eye looks... Like a like a thing. Am I happy with this? No. I want to change that red to a different color. But I'll fix that in a moment. Let's see. Sort of line it up with the contours of the nose. There's our circle. There. A little bit of an overlap. This is going to get overlapped by the nose cone, which is a separate piece, I believe, on the actual oh, plane model. Gluteus is uh, falling asleep on me. We'll try it with the eye there and just see what happens. So we'll copy that 
Uh, and that's good where it is. Where exactly did I paste that? Uh, let's just lead it from there just to be safe. And, and then flip horizontal, or not horizontal, vertical. Vertical. And move into its associated position. <laughs> Sharks are funny looking creatures. Um, okay. And you know what? They look even more funny when they're shark mouth art by Toshio Thunder. So actually on live dot, I'm called uh, Toshio1987. Just in case you didn't know, Toshio is not my real name. Uh, it is the name of a very influential tiny Japanese man. That's not what I wanted. Wait. Wait. I messed up. I wanted to put it there. Flip, vertical, move, about there. That's looking pretty good. What? What? Get rid of that. Okay, that's still a sticker. We're still good. Um... Let's change that red color though. I don't like the red for this. Let's just make it nothing. Or maybe make the black nothing. Let's make the black nothing and make the red a little more subtle. So, this layer, select color, the black, delete. That, that looks okay. And the red? Delete. And the more different red as well. Delete your whole family. Uh, this is going to be a pain. But that's what the plus button is for. Look at that. It's like we're playing an old pixel game. Because it's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> and that. And that. And that. And that. And that. And all of that dishonor on you, dishonor on your cow, dishonor on your whole family. What do we have? We still have some reds to get rid of. Just like World War II. <laughs> Just when they thought all the reds had been deleted, there were thousands more. Welcome to Berlin. Too soon? All those poor Nazi boys. Eh, let's not joke about World War II anymore. It was a sad, sad situation. Oh, whoops, we messed up. Now we have something that fits a little bit better with the theme, but we still need to make it look Good. So let's go back to this. Get rid of some of those reds we have around the jaw. Delete you and you and you and you. Oh, I hear Tank Baby waking up. We're just about out of time. Okay. Let's uh let's do things with layers now. So Copy, delete, put it back in there at a different opacity, 50%, and 
Anchor. Put it back. See why? Just why? Why do you offset things when I don't tell you to, to offset things? Let me be the judge. Jury. And execution. Err. See what we did? Maybe. We just got a bit of offset on our layer to give it some depth. And it's supposed to stand out. It doesn't need to be so grainy though. Uh, that's going to look bad. How could I fix that? Eh, ain't worth it. Um, paste that down there. And we'll take our delete tool, 200 size. Let's let's size it down a bit to 80. Go around this area. Make things a bit more subtle. Um. And then let's go down to this layer and how do I get this effect to work? You know what? I don't like the way the teeth disappear like that. They should be sharp. Yeah. Let's take our delete tool. Let's select these stupid eyes. Delete. Whoops. Delete. Okay. And I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, Tank Baby's waking up. Let's save this file. Check out how it looks. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Except I want... We need blackness in there. We need black in between these two. So... Go down to this layer. And... Eesh. We messed up. I gotta get this done. Tank Baby's waking up. Okay. So... Select... Lasso. Not going to be perfect. That's okay. Rome. Not burned in one evening. Okay. Fill with black. Damn. Cool. That way we vertical. And move down. How's that look? That looks pretty good. File overwrite. Do, 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 do. Take a look at that. Looking good. You can even see the corners of the mouth there in a crude way. We actually did a little bit of drawing. Hooray! Uh, pixelated. I don't like how pixelated those teeth are, but I'm willing to live with it. Um, we'll call her done. Shark skin, ME262. Those tentacles are way too big. That mouth looks like garbage. I love it. <laughs> Best skin ever. Uh, yeah. We'll leave it at that. And... Now let's make our, so merge that down, copy that, go back into this file we've been messing, messing with, do not mess with meth, paste, anchor, 
view this one, select all the holes, and this one, and delete file, export to damage, and we have what we wanted. Now these two files, these two images, are the two images we've been viewing. This one, the damage file, and that one, the normal file. And you could call it the color map. Now we go back to user skins. Here's our new template folder. Copy. Uh, I didn't need to copy it. I don't know why I did that. Right click, add to archive. I'm using WinRare, by the way. Download WinRare if you need to. Uh, and now we can give it a real name. Uh, shark bait dot zip and that switched over to a dot zip file that's what you can post on live dot war thunder so we go into live and we go to test flight mission editor do the things do do the things and why did I just start a custom test flight? You will find out shortly. Skip, I've bound... Holy cannolis, that's loud game audio. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear that. Hopefully not. So I've bound F12 to screenshot. Uh, you will see why in a moment. That looks pretty cool in the world. I, I like this. I like this quite a bit. So, let us shoosting the Kanona a few times. Do some rolls, shoot the gun, fly toward the sun, shoot the gun, do some rolls, shoot the gun, and return to the hangar. Why, Toshio? Why did you just do that? Let me show you how to get good screenshots for your custom camos. No more of that garage stuff. View replay. I've bound shift C to free chase cam. So we're going to use free chase cam. There's our, our intro. And pause. Shift C. Get a good view of the old sharky. Ooh, I should change the color of the engine flames on this camo. That would look pretty cool. That's a project for another time. Okay, Tank Baby is definitely awake, and she definitely wants my attention, so... Let's get this done. That looks like crap right there. What is that? What have I done? Still needs some work. <laughs> that looks pretty cool though. That does look pretty cool. There we go. Eh, that's good enough. Okay, closing the game, go to live.warthunder, live.warthunder, that's what you need, uh, sign in, and then you get add, camouflage, now go to your user skins, shark bait, oh wait, 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 no, that's not how you do it here, you have to actually click upload camouflage, you have to go to user skins 
I forgot that this is how it works. I thought it actually was good, but it's not. Uh, you can't drag and drop here. You have to manually select. So shark bait. That's the one we wanted. Upload images. Out. Screenshots. Click. Shift. Open. There you have it. Put some tags on it. Tag shark mouth. Tag shark. Shark. Tag Amy. 262A1U4. Tag Narwhal. Tag Emmy 262. There you go. Uh, a quick and dirty shark skin. Literally. Camo for the. Narwhal. Big smile. Publish. There you go. We did it. <laughs> now I'll check on the old YouTube, see if anybody had any questions, comments. Hi, Northy! Uh, don't you please know how to open that file? In Photoshop! Uh, you can open it in Photoshop the same way. Uh, you can go... So let me, let me show you real quick. If you want to use a different program to open that file, you go to your image... Uh, any one of these will do. Actually, those are different. I lied to you. Um, <laughs> any one of your airplane skins, if you want to open them up with Photoshop, right-click on the A file, and then you see I already have an option here, but you just go Open With, and if your program doesn't show up that you want to use, you have to click Choose Another App, and then Find That Program in the list that takes a year to pop up. So it's not there. Uh, more Apps. And then if it's not in this list, see, I could use Paint. I could use uh, Photoshop if I had it, if it showed up there. But you just search this list for the program you want to use to open it. Uh, and if it, you still don't see it there, click Look for another app on this PC. And you can search. Uh, so if I wanted to find Photoshop, I would just do a search for Photoshop. Make sure I'm searching in this PC, so you search the whole computer. And uh, I don't have Photoshop, so it's not going to show up there. Yes, yeah, see? All right. Um, and that's it. Guys, thanks for watching the stream. I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.